need a second Just thinking about everything I've been through, it's a blessing Each and every L I take in life to stand for lesson And I ain't really interested in completing the second Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy DK Nice and we're back here again on another video And today what I got for you guys is a series that I kind of did last year And we, you know, we did pretty well And a series that I think I'm going to bring back and that's our ebook series. So today what I'm going to be going over in for a while, for maybe like a couple weeks, we're going to be focusing on Steelers offense. Now, I want to do this for playbooks that not many people run and but you know, may you know have to have some really good stuff in it and that are kind of unique to the playbook as well. Some of these a lot of these playbooks will have a bunch too just because it's a good formation. Oh Jesus. It's a good formation to have just in case. Just in case, but there's a lot of things that we're going to be going over and touching in in this playbook that you know may not be in other playbooks and that are just simply unique and that's you know not everybody else runs so one of these formations that we're going to hop into for this video is tight doubles i love tight doubles because it has the tight end blocking and unlike with a uh, gun offset tight end the you can't block the tight end or if you motion him over i guess you could technically block him but i don't know it's just i don't really as far as trying to block somebody it's not good so this is, I guess, in that regard, it's similar to Bunch because you could block the tight end and the running back if you want to motion over the running back. You can do different things, which I like it a lot. So we're going to go over two plays today. We're going to go over one simple play. We're going to go over Z spot. And then the other play that we're going to go over that has a bunch of different variations in it is shot fade cross. Y'all know why? In the comment section, let me know. Before, you know, before, I'm you know, skipping ahead. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Um... Yeah, we're going to go over Z-Spot really quickly. And this is just simply a flood concept. So I think I might partner, you know, maybe one complicated, you know, one complicated uh, play with a bunch of different setups. And then we will couple it with, a, you know, a more simple play uh, with, you know, very few adjustments. So this is Z-Spot. And what we're going to do is just going to create a simple flood concept. And I like this because it has our corner route. We could, and then the streak, which is going to take away the deep route, and then our flat route, which between the corner route and the flat route, they're going to have to choose between which route they want to guard. And then we could, you know, put a drag out there if we want. We could have the slant. What I would do in this, we could we could do that, have a motion slant, and we could call hike. Because this is Tampa 2, I you know, I ended up calling Tampa 2. Because that, that cloud flat is going to back up, we want to take our, uh, we want to take our flat, uh, so like I said too, with the drag is really nice. And we could keep that that deep in route. That's great too. Uh, the drag is you know a quick short route that we could hit you know right here at this point. We don't want to hit it any later because it's gonna run right into our flat route and then people will, you know. So we have that, or we could keep it just like this. Keep it simple, streak our guy, uh, or fade him. Really, a lot of people say fade over the streak. To me, it makes no difference, but I got some higher powers that are telling me otherwise. So we're gonna fade our receiver. Instead of streaking him. And then, boom. You know, if this was a hard flats, you know, I would consistently. Something that a lot of Madden players, you know, don't do is take the short routes. Because once you, you know, start hitting them in the flats, they're going to have to play hard flats. If you're getting three, four yards of pop on flat routes, you're going to keep moving the ball, keep getting first downs. Then they're going to switch to hard flats. And then, boom, that's when you hit them with the corner out, you know, your money route play. And then they don't know what to do. But now with this play, shot fade that we're going to be going over. This is going to get over some of these routes that we, uh, some of these like cloud flats and maybe even some uh, over some of these purples. So we're going to go ahead and go back into Tampa 2 and then we're going to go into Cooper 3 and show you guys that. So there's three different variations that I have for you guys today um, for this play. One of the variations is very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to double drag. We're going to have a double drag concept, which is really nice uh, because... It's, it's just hard to guard a drag on its own, but to have two drags, it's really light, uh, it's really good. But the reason why we want to drag the tight end on this side is because it's going to bring down whatever zone is on the other side, whether it's, you know, any sort of flat zone, it's going to bring that down, and our deep route run, our money route, is going to get up over the top of, you know, of the defense, and it's going to sit really well. And then we streak X, and that's going to take away our deep zone that we want to, that we want to take away. We're going to go ahead and call the play right there. Boom. Got wide open. Bang, bang, money. So that's that one. And what I like to do too is just, you know, if they're sending a blitz, uh, we didn't have to motion anybody over there, thank God. So what I would do is like, let's say they're sending a blitz from the left side. So what I'll do is I'll motion the running back over and I will slide protect opposite the running back. So what he should, he should pick up the block on the, on the side that he's blocking and all the linemen will shift over one. 
and then you know that would be that so that's as far as just blocking any blitzes uh out of that particular setup so the next one that we have is re what we're going to do is i gotta remember i gotta remember oh okay so what we're going to do is we're going to drag we're going to drag uh antonio brown here we're going to drag y we're going to streak uh we're going to streak a and we're going to put uh washington on a slant and we're going to motion motion snap washington over boom now we have a drag we have the slant and we have the backside guy there again i love having short routes out there on the field just because it's it's, it's going to suck down the defense and you keep hitting the short routes they're going to use her they're going to keep usering you know low and then you hit them over the top so we're going to go ahead and run that real quick so you guys can see that our money route gets open the only reason why i, I like this setup but we got to be wary of our money read that you know he could get up, up over the top because we don't have our because we don't have that zone over there uh, because we don't have a drag over there sucking down that zone uh so that's another one but it's just that is more so for the slant and the drag you know just to throw something different at them uh then the next one is we're gonna streak x and we're gonna slant y slant y uh and so instead of having a double drag we'll have the slant just in case for whatever reason they want to oh jesus no that wasn't it huh Okay, now I remember the setup. Okay, okay, okay. Because I be thinking about things throughout the course of the day, and it's just, my mind gets all jumbled up. So the net, the last setup that I have for you guys is we're going to fade Y. We're going to motion over the tight end over here, and we're going to put him on a zig route. So that's uh, Y, A, because that's a tight end. And we're going to put, we're going to hit left on the right stick to put him on a zig. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag X. So again, have the drag there as a safe route. You know, it's a receiver. He's going to be a little bit quicker, yada, 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 yada. Uh, but with the zig, it's going to bring down that, that flat zone. And we're going to hit him. We're going to hit B over the top. Uh, but if not, we still have A. We still have A on the zig. And it's just, it's a little bit different of a window. I would definitely get in practice mode, figure out what window that is that you could throw that ball. Um, and also be wary of where you are on the sideline too with these plays. Uh, with with the deep crossers anyways um but yeah so that's gonna be the you know this video guys you guys got what one two three four different plays two two different plays but four different variations of plays actually more with z spot really z spot you can do a lot of things because of the routes that are out there but that's gonna be this video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this is gonna be the start of our ebook series then if there's any playbooks that you guys want me to get into i don't want to do saints i don't want to do patriots i don't want to do west coast but if there's any other playbooks uh packers is a stretch i like packers though a lot it's very similar to saints in some ways so we could we could touch on that but if there's any playbooks at all other than those three west coast pats or saints we can hop into it i'll be glad to do an ebook series for you guys but that's going to be this one guys hopefully you guys enjoyed and until next time guys peace out